Good morning, boys. How are we all? It is Wednesday, the 19th of July. The time is currently 10.47. I'm gonna have to make this intro short and sharpish because I've got a trim at 11 o'clock. Now, granted, my barber's only down the road, but I don't wanna be late. I've got my protein shake here, which I'm gonna have to neck. New low weigh in this morning of 173, I'm pretty sure we entered into. 173.8 pounds. We are officially five weeks out as of today. It is starting to get hard. Like, there's days where, so for example, on Monday, on the back of a rest day, so Sunday was a rest day, on the Monday, I felt like shit. Cardio, I genuinely thought I wasn't gonna be able to finish. I genuinely thought I was gonna pass out on the fucking Stairmaster. Every single individual step was like a serious challenge just to lift my feet. But then the next day, after having normal training day macros, 275 carb, I felt okay. So it's just, you've gotta take the good with the bad. Alex Hormozy quote, this is what hard feels like, and this is why most people don't make it. It's the bit in the middle why most people never make it to the end. Motivational quote for you there on a Wednesday morning. I'm off to get a fucking haircut, because I look homeless. Right, I'm back. Just about to go to the gym. Kieran's gonna fucking kill me because I was meant to be there for half past, and it's 22 minutes past 12. I'm literally late all the time. Please understand, Kieran, please. Now, I've gone for a slightly different trim than what I would usually have because my face was starting to look very, very skeletal. I've kept it longer. You probably can't even tell um, because obviously it's wet. Every trim looks shit when you first have it done. Not shit, but like it doesn't look the same and then you wet it and then you dry it and that's when it sits how you want it to. The beard I've gone for a two and a half. I usually would have a two. It can't really tell much difference to be fair. So I might go for a three next time, but the top is definitely longer. We have got the world's best pre-workout combination here ever. Genuinely, genuinely. I would argue this is the best combo ever. Pre-focus, pre-plump, pre, pre, pre pre-plump. We'll go with that, we'll roll with that. This is the closest legal substance you will find to a blue transformer. If you've been to a rave, you'll know what I mean. This stuff is ridiculous. I took this the other day because I bought the sample, didn't I? I bought the tub of this because I needed a pump um, formula. And then I had a sample of this because I've had it a while ago, but it's been about two years. And so I just thought, I'll sample it, see if it's as good as I remember. You know, I love Nootropic. It's fucking insane. I got back from the gym and there's an email automation sequence which I've been having to write. It is as boring as it fucking sounds, right? And so I've been putting off doing it for weeks and weeks and weeks. I got back and I thought, you know what? I'll do one email. I got back and I wrote all fucking four of them. My brain was just <laughs> ideas flowing. This is like liquid, liquid thoughts. That's what this is like. So you combine that too. Sour Stardust flavor, which basically, I can't really put my finger on what it tastes like. It just tastes sweet, to be honest. Let's give it a little taste test here. I've just made it. I'll try and describe what it tastes like. I can't, it's just sweet. So I'm gonna drink this and get to the gym before Kieran starts shouting at me down the phone. As rituals would suggest, my check-in has just come through from Jack, so we're gonna sit together like a family, all three of us, me, you, and the YouTube family. Say hi. I don't think I can. You can't. She's not coming into the frame, but we'll we'll pretend like Sally's with us here. We'll all hold hands and watch my check-in together. So what I'm gonna do is to sort of aid with recovery a little bit is to reduce the amount of cardio that we are doing. And yes. Yes! I have done 20 minutes of cardio every single fucking day for the last, I didn't realise how many weeks we're in, 10 weeks in now. I've missed days where like I've been travelling like when I flew to Marbs or whatever, but the following two days what I would do is I'd do 30 minutes the day after and then 30 minutes the day after that to obviously make up for it. I actually up upped it to level 9 today. I did 102 floors in 20 minutes. Hello sir, thank you very much for my feedback. I'm glad to hear that cardio is down. You've put cardio down to 20 minutes. Is that 20 minutes across the week or is that daily? Because I'm already doing 20 minutes every single day. So yeah, is that per week or is that per day? Let's go to Tesco. Get some potatoes. What else do I need? I've got a note on my phone called shop and I just put 
whatever needs going. Milk, potatoes, and snacker jacks. I go through snacker jacks at the moment like a crackhead on heroin, which there's plenty of around here. Sorry, mate. Um, we all reduced the cardio. It is still going to be 20 minutes every day, but we're going to reduce the level. So we'll see how we get on on level... Uh, you're on level 8. We'll see how you get on on level 7. <laughs> That's fuck. Your back has this crazy ability to just really, really just transform when it gets a little bit of blood or glycogen in. My whole physique's like, ah, oh, the difference between me not having and having a pump is ridiculous. Like insane. My shoulders go from being don't really look like you've got many. Many. Many shoulders. <laughs> but I've only got two. Most people have got four. It's a rest day today. Thursday. I've just been to see a new physio. I'm now on my fourth physio. Fourth fucking physio for the same injury. And he has come to the conclusion that essentially I'm just fucked, to be honest. But I literally feel like I've just been ran over by a lorry because he was getting so deep into my shoulder joint, the front, the back, on both sides as well. I'm pretty sure he's the physio for Eddie Hall. I know he's George Osborne's physio, so if you follow George Osborne, watch any of his stuff, he's the same guy he goes to. Very fucking good, to be fair. I was mentioning to him how I couldn't feel my right lat contract, I didn't used to be able to, because I think when looking at pictures, you can see how much weaker my teres major is, because your teres major is basically known as your lat's little helper, and that'll be the reason why I can't contract my right lat fully, and he was like, yeah, that'll be why, rather than them just rubbing me and be like, yeah, that's £45, please. Thank you very much. Happy fucking Friday. It's a great day today. I had a massage yesterday. As you all know, Jesus Christ, he is the best one I've been to. Fuck me. I had the massage, and you know when someone, what someone says, well, you might not know, actually. <laughs> I can feel what's wrong. I can sort of pinpoint which muscles are tight, etc., and where the problem may occur. And what I've had in the past is like, I've had a physio say this is wrong or that is wrong. And I'm kind of thinking, obviously I'm not gonna tell you you're wrong, but I do think you're wrong. But everything he was saying yesterday, aligned ex with exactly what I was thinking. So basically he was saying that like my infraspinatus, which is one of my rotator cuff muscles, which sits like right, right by your shoulder blade. That was like super fucking tight and he was getting deep into that. It was causing like pins and needles to like go down my arm. And that's an area where every time I get one of those massage balls, I get that, I put it against the wall and I get deep into it. And when I hit that spot, it's like, oh my fucking, it kills but it's like a nice relief after. Anyway, I'm babbling. Obviously, spent the night with my missus. I'm in joggers and a hoodie, baggy shit all the time at the moment. I took my clothes off to brush my teeth and get into bed, and I looked in the mirror, and my bathroom, it's like side lighting, and then the mirror's there, and I looked in the mirror, and I thought, what the fuck? Like, sometimes, your own physique, you look at it and think, is that me? Really? I was like contracting my quad, and like, each quad was like, very fucking separated. I had veins in my teardrop, and then I was doing like a side tricep, and I had feathering in my tricep, and then I went into the bathroom under the lighting, which is already sick, and I was just like, what the fuck? So I recorded some clips. Because you've got to, haven't you? Like, I always make sure to record stuff now, because I know that obviously it'll be good to look back on. And then I started posing, and I could just pull my shoulder pull, pull my shoulder into positions I've not been able to in genuinely, genuinely when I say this, years. It's been two years since I injured my shoulder and I've not been able to move it properly since then. And then I went and trained today and it was the same. Like I was pressing. Usually when I press, I can't go all the way there. You know, to the point where you're just fucking pushing with all your might. I can't go there. I can take it pretty close to failure, but not all the way. And today, when I was, especially when I was pressing, I could fucking just drive and not even think, I still did think about my shoulder, but it was like I could do it and my shoulder actually pushed through it. I probably am waffling right now, but it's just because I'm so fucking overwhelmed with how happy I am that it's finally getting sorted. I'm just gonna see him regularly, I think, to stay on top of it, because he clearly knows what the actual problem is and clearly knows how to fix it. And that is the end of the video, boys. I'm currently editing this, as you can see. I need to start remembering to film an outro because I think the last three videos, the outro has been Morg editing the video. So remind me on, outro your videos, Morg, so you don't get in this wank ending. That fucking edit I did, by the way, took me ages, so I hope you boys appreciate it because I watched it back and I was like, yeah, 
that's sick. I'm not going to be able to make any money from this video, not like I'm making any anyway, because I'm going to get copyrighted for that, but fuck it. It looks sick, so you better appreciate it. Subscribe, drop a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.